Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side and part two of our day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We've had a great morning so far. Now, however, we are heading into space because we are going to Galaxy's Edge. So let's go check it out. today we might have to just have a little bit of a look around maybe look at some of the shops the actual rides themselves might be a little bit busy because this here is the lightning lane queue as Shelley has pointed out so I'm thinking wait a minute here we go 205 minutes for the standby wait I don't think we are going to be doing that one today. 200 minute wait. Uh, I don't think that the kids are going to tolerate that. In fact, I think AJ's a bit small for it anyway. I don't think he's um, the right height to go on that ride. Look at that sweet X-Wing just landed here on Batu. Nice. So this is like the resistance half of the land. And when we get into the town of Black Spire Outpost, that's when we're kind of more in the area that is controlled by the First Order. Right, heading into the town. So let's try and avoid any First Order entanglements. The theming in here is unbelievable. The, look at that. It is just like we are here on a Star Wars world. like an old R2 unit down there that hasn't got a head being used as like a barbecue <laughs> poor droid like I said the detail in here is unbelievable and buy yourself some little novel gifts this is great I love it little mini speeders lined up on the wall <laughs> so you've got all these like little stores that line the marketplace here $22.99, he'll set you back. You got Darth Maul down here for the same price. Darth Vader, of course, is an Ewok. Let's enter inside this uh, little store. What have we got on in here? So we've got very cool, sort of like, it's like a Jedi costume almost. There's a black version. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice little t-shirt for the younglings. Some sort of skull. And a Boba Fett mask. I like that. Oh, and backpack. Look at that. How much will that set you back? Let's have a look. So $34 for the mask. And shy of one penny, $50 for the jetpack. Got some meat there, uh, cooking away there by the use of that old thruster. Let's go on the other side because there should be a droid making that work. Let's go find him. There he is, working away. Working hard, making sure that that spit turns with all that Ronto meat on. Nice. Oh no, I think it's just broken. Oh, they're trying to get it 
get started. Yeah, there we go. So in lots of people's opinion, one of the best foods you can buy here are the Ronto wraps. They are delicious. They are delicious. We've had them before and we've actually made them at home as well, haven't we? Yeah. Just, They're know. quite easy to make at home. Yeah. Right, I am purposely filming this wall because I'm going to give you the big reveal now. Are you ready? This is the Millennium Falcon. What a reveal. That is it's a life-size Millennium Falcon. I love it. The camera won't do it justice at all. It's just something you have to see in person to appreciate. Let's get a bit closer to it. In my humble opinion, this is the star of the show when it comes to this land. Superb backdrop. Just look at that. Love it. The ambience in this land is just perfect. If you're a Star Wars fan, this has to be on your bucket list. There is, of course, Batu over in Disneyland in California, sometimes referred to as Batu West. This is referred to as Batu East, obviously being on the East Coast in Florida. But either park you go to, this, I mean, this, this, like I said, this just has to be on the bucket list of all Star Wars fans. Right, what we're going to do, because the crowds here are very big, uh, also, the wait time for the Smuggler's Run attraction is over 60 minutes. I would probably hop in line for it, but actually it's not fair on the kids. Tilly would be big enough to do it, but AJ is not big enough to do it. Um, you know, I know you can do parent swap and stuff like that, but do you know what? We're just going to carry on walking through the land a little bit. And then we're going to get into Toy Story Land, have a mooch around in there, see what some of the wait times are, and I think maybe, possibly, call it a day in Hollywood Studios. So, yeah, it's really nice here. It's really, really well themed. Um, Tilly and AJ aren't so much into Star Wars just yet, so they're not quite as into it as we are. So we are going to head to Toy Story Land, but... Have a look around, it's amazing, really. It is so well themed, it is definitely worth a visit if you're here. Recommend trying the blue and green milk. If we see some, we'll try and get some, but like I said, the kids are really irritable. Um, we're gonna head towards Choice of Island. Sometimes in this section of Black Spire Outpost, you do come across the Black, the Black Order? What am I talking about? Make that the First Order, as they patrol the streets. Oh no, I think we, I hope they don't interrogate us. I don't want to be interrogated. Okay, I think they've moved on by. Awesome. Now that there, straight ahead of us, is the entrance and exit for guests who are staying on board the Halcyon, which is the Star Wars themed hotel here. Um, we can't go in and look, obviously, it's, it is for guests only, but as part of their like quote unquote excursions, they can leave the spaceship, they get transported down to the planet's surface, and they can basically have a little wander around Batu which is a very cool idea. Very expensive, however, to stay in there. I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, but that is where you come in and out of. Right, we're going to scoot through now. And, oh! Oh, Shalbel, you have bought the blue milk and green milk. But I couldn't remember which one we preferred. Yeah, I can't remember either. I thought I'd get both to try. Okay, well, let's try them both then. AJ's trying the green milk. Did you like that? Is that uh, good? It's yellow, not That's green. a bit yucky. Okay, what about this one? Oh, I think a TIE fighter just went overhead. Which one's the best, blue or green? Which do you prefer, AJ? 
the blue one. You prefer blue, okay. Okay, that one reminds me of um, kids like yellow penicillin, the banana flavour penicillin. Oh right, okay. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> All right. And the blue one? Like mixed up Skittles. Right, okay, so do you have a preference? Which do you prefer? Probably the blue one edges it just. Okay. Well, I think I'll give it a go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of know what you mean about the banana flavoured pen penicillin. Okay. Oh, blue. Good. I think I prefer blue. Yeah, I think the blue. Yeah, you're right. It is like um, it is like a um, Skittle-esque taste to it. WG1401. Just step back a little bit to find some shade because it is hot. figure out that we're working for the resistance. <laughs> Very cool. As a Star Wars fan, I could walk around here for forever and a day. I think it's fantastic. But as we've just said, it's really hot and the kids are struggling a little bit, so we're gonna move on through to Toy Story Land and take it from there. I think someone's been uh, a bit trigger happy with a blaster here on this wall. Have you found a cool spot in there? In the shade? Yeah, you alright? Just a bit hot and bothered, aren't you? And that's the market stall where Shelley bought the blue milk and green milk. Love all the pots, like the circular or like spherical pots hanging from the ceiling. I love that. Like I said, great theming. Also, blue and green milk are both suitable for vegans. Yes, I think they are. Absolutely brilliant. Like I said, bucket list for all Star Wars fans in my opinion. And just like that, we have left Batu East and we're now in Toy Story Land. How amazing! Right, it's a 30 minute standby for the swirling saucers, so we're gonna hop on board. Look at Buzz up there. Awesome. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. This is a super fun ride. I got a feel, now I can't remember, I don't think Matilda did it last time. AJ definitely hasn't been on it because he was only a baby the last time we were here. So let's go on board the swirling saucers. 30 minute wait as listed, we'll see how long that takes. Hidden Mickey. Shelly and Matilda, way over that way somewhere. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna see what the wait time is for Slinky Dog Dash but I'm not holding my breath. I think it's gonna be in excess of 70 minutes and the kids are really getting hot and bothered. So we, we're not gonna wait for 70 minutes if it's kind of in that range. So let's go and find out what the wait time is. Yes, yeah, 75 minute wait for a Slinky Dog Dash. So I don't think we're gonna do that today. Like I said, the kids are really hot and bothered. So we're gonna move on out of Toy Story Land. 
Toy Story Mania over my shoulder is 65 minute wait, so yeah, we're quite crowded here today. Well, howdy, Woody. How you doing? That's a very nice breeze. Oh. Okay, no idea where Shelley and the kids are. At the far end of Sunset Boulevard, there is an attraction that the kids are going to go wild for, particularly AJ, and that is the Lightning McQueen Driving Academy, or Racing Academy, I mean. So let's go and get into that. Ah, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. The Tower of Terror. One of my favourite attractions here at Hollywood Studios, but uh, the ride, to, uh, the, the, the wait time is going to be... 105 minutes. 105 minutes. We're not waiting 105 minutes. Again, the kids are uh, hot and exhausted, so we are going to go and find Lightning McQueen, which is to the left of it. Here we are. We're going to park up the stroller and head in. Wait time, 15 minutes. Hello! Just while we're waiting to go into the Racing Academy, just a beautiful shot up at the Tower of Terror. Ah, oh, 105, what was it? 105 minutes for that one? Yeah. That's a cute little show, the kids enjoyed it. It's uh, one of the shows that you're not allowed to film in, so I couldn't film in it, but um, worth going to see if you like cars. We're gonna do a little quick ice cream break here on Sunset Boulevard just before we head out of the park. How is your Mickey Premium Bar? Is it delicious, Tilly? Is it delicious? Yeah, Mama Bear and I, we were opting more for a Coca-Cola because we're just thirsty. I do love this park, but because it's a bit smaller than the others, um, you do feel it with the crowds, don't you? It is, yeah. it is, it feels packed. It feels the less small kid orientated as well. Yeah, the, there are some bigger are, rides here. There are a lot more bigger rides, mm. so it's less for the little ones to do. Mm. But we, you know, that's fine. We've yeah. had a good day. I might have to take it back that it's the smaller park. Actually, I think in terms of square acreage, I think Magic Kingdom might be the smallest. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Crossroads of the world. And Donald and Daisy were here when we entered the park. And they're here again as we're leaving it. Bye Donald, bye Daisy. Just as we head out, it looks like Matilda and Shelley and the boy are looking at this little shop. What have we got here? Some Mickey and his pals. Toy Story. Ooh. Some bubble wands, more Toy Story things. <laughs> Little Bo Peep. All right, nice. We've got some ear headbands for $29. Well, penny shy of 30. Which is quite good. They've got like a little lightweight, compact fold, as they've termed it. A little stroller here. Handy to know. I do hope you enjoyed that video. Do all the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Bright Side, so check us out there. So from us to you, cheers and gone. Nice little shot of the Skyliner in the distance. Nice. What have you bought, Mama Bear? Um, I may have bought myself a really super cool hat. You've got a super cool hat because uh, it's kind of hot, so that's always good for the sun, and you have succumbed, and you have bought a bubble wand. Yeah, I just got to figure out how to make it work. Okay, we got into it, we figured it out. Bubbles are plenty. My goodness, where did we park? There's always a honking horn.